Can you help me out on this part, Julie? You were supposed to go in and see your parents, I think, at one point, and you got there at 9 o'clock. They were supposed to move someplace. You got there at 9 o'clock, and these guardians had moved several people, some of them screaming as they were thrown into a van in the middle of the night. Yes, I can help you out on that. When I had brought light to this with the help of Vegas Voice, which is a small senior paper here, I had to go to places because nobody would open a door for me. If somebody had opened a door for me, Glenn, I wouldn't be talking to you today, okay? I had to go vocal. And what happened was once this came out and I was going to court pro per se and representing my parents, April Parks, this private guardian, started moving people out of the assisted living facility and taking their animals and what we've heard, rumor has it, is putting them to sleep. This is the only thing these people had. I knew the majority of them, and the majority of them are no longer with us. They were moved, they were screaming, they were told they were taking them. One lady, they were taking her to the beauty salon. They put her in a van, she was screaming and yelling. Another one was a chiropractor doctor from Carmel, California. We don't know if he's alive or dead. I can't get the information. And she was just taking them and she was threatening the director there that if she didn't go along with it, she's going to lose her job too because she can have her arrested. You have to understand these are people that are walking around on earth that think they are these mini gods. They are sociopathic people. Money's not enough, but then they have to hurt you and they hurt the family along with this. This is a family affair. So this is, in reading this article at least, it appears as though this judge was either incompetent or was turning a blind eye to what was going on or or part of it in some way i mean uh, the way i understand it is you can go and get the financial statements of people and find out who has money who doesn't then she would go to correct me if i'm wrong she would go to doctors and she would target people and say, look, sign this because they're not paying or they're going to cost you a lot of money or whatever, and I'll take care of this. And the doctors pretty much would sign anything to move on from a patient. Is that true? That is true. That's correct. It's, this is collusion, and this is RICO. This is human trafficking, okay? This article, The New Yorker, is great, but it just touched on the tip of the iceberg, which is what we're doing today. It goes so much deeper and so much more in-depth that it really makes you sit your stomach. I mean, I've been hospitalized two times. I had surgery on my stomach. This is, gets under your skin. It really does feel like a modern-day holocaust. And you can't and, believe what you're reading. You're like, what? And your parents, now they are afraid to tell the doctors anything because they're afraid the doctor is going to put them back into some sort of a guardianship. Um, Yes and no. We have a great doctor now. I just think that after you've gone through a trauma, as our whole family has, that it comes with leaving you with post-traumatic stress syndrome. So you are looking in every corner. You're scared sure. sometimes. And one time my dad woke up in the middle of the night and he said, I've got to get my stuff ready, my stuff ready. And I said, Dad, what are you doing? And he said, she's coming, she's coming. And I'm like, who's coming? And he said, April Parks. And I said, no, she's not. But I really want to mention that what this took for me to get in the public eye was so tremendous. I mean, it started off with the Vegas Voice with Dan Roberts and Ronna Goodman. There's a small paper here that they have a senior community paper. And then I went and did seminars. And then I got ABC, finally, an investigative producer, Keen Bowman, Darcy Spears, Oscar Paloma. And then Al Jazeera came out. Sheila McVie Kerr. Al Jazeera. Um, David Martin. Yes, American Al Jazeera. Amazing. And I did a documentary for two and a half years that will be coming out this year. Right now, we just submitted it to the Sundance Festival. Billy Mintz was the director. J.B. Sugar, the producer. We've worked on that for two and a half years. Um, I went to the Review Journal. I'm now working with Kasem Cares Foundation, Carrie Kasem and Kathleen Wright Brown. We've teamed up with Triple APG, Rick Black, and Sam Sugar. This is what I do now. I'm a guardian reform advocate and I'm a grief support counselor. So I get the calls from people that are so traumatized. They don't know what to do. They can't see their loved ones. They've been trespassed. And at Kasem Cares, what we're doing is we're passing visitation bills from state to state so that the adult children are allowed to see their loved one. 
Okay, so what I would like to do is, first of all, your Twitter handle is at Julie Belshi, B-E-L-S-H-E-1, Julie Belshi 1. I guess um, that's what it is. I'm new to Twitter. So. That's all right. Um, <laughs> what is the one thing, after you've gone through all of this, what is the one thing that if you were worried it's going to happen to you or to your parents that you can do to make sure that it doesn't? Okay. What you can do is in January, we've come up with a guardianship nomination form. Okay. It's going to be in the secretary state lockbox. So if you went to the hospital, as opposed to them giving you to a guardian, now you can list who you want as in, for your family or a friend to come and that's your guardian. What I can tell you is that to stay out of the court, stay out of probate court and make sure no one ever gets close enough to your loved ones or you to drag you into their clutches. And the elder law attorneys, they have three priorities. They make money. They build a network to help them make money. They find clients to pay their bills. Satisfying customers is in their priority. Satisfying judges and fellow elder law attorneys is their network and their state bar farm formalizes it. No elder law attorney ever benefits from challenging a judge they go along to get along. It ensures their career security. Okay. Now you have to take care of your family, stay close to them, call your family members, the will, the estate, all the, the power of attorney, get those all taken care of immediately and talk to your legislative uh, your politicians t and bring these subjects up and go to the meetings and find out what's going on. I'm not doing this just for the elderly and the wards. I have children. I don't want this to happen to my children. I don't want this to happen to anybody. That's the only reason I'm speaking out about this. Julie Belshi, thank you so much. A guardian reform advocate whose parents, after two years of being kidnapped, have finally come home.